Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Fell Custom. So today we're going to go over this garage kit of a Freya one-fifth scale bus from Film These Girls. Uh, what they do is you can see they got an illustration and they have all the information of who sculpted it, who designed it. And it's a pretty cool little kit and a little bus. I've seen this in the past on some uh, videos for like, you know, Wonderfest and stuff. And uh, somebody actually that lives locally near me uh, stopped by one day and asked if I could paint this up. So I've had it for a little while. And it's about time I started popping out a couple kits here and there because we're kind of in the middle of the winter. And I figured uh, it'd be a good time when I'm in the garage to just kind of do some more prep work on some stuff. Uh, so I figured let me just get this out now. We could do a little bit of a review. And then hopefully in a few months maybe this will be done. We'll see what happens. So uh, it's uh, not your typical, uh, you know, ownage type kit that everybody sees these days. It's your typical old-fashioned kit that comes in peanuts and bubble wrap which I'm really used to from when I started the hobby so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the camera I'll come back with all the pieces unwrapped and we could kind of go over it alright so we got all the parts out of the box with all the little bubble wrap and kind of went over it and it's looking really good so it definitely seems to me like it's a digital sculpt and digitally printed because the hair feels definitely digital as you can see there uh, and as far as casting, uh, whoever casted this up did an amazing job. I'm not really sure who casted it. It almost feels like an ownage type casting because I'm not really seeing any like, you know, flashing or any issues whatsoever. But, you know, I mean, uh, if you get like a digital sculpt from a, a printout from like ownage and other companies and you're a caster, these things are so clean most of the time that even casters could do a really good job. So I'm not really sure. Uh, something I'll have to, you know, ask Filmies girls next time I see them at a, a convention or something. But, really great sculpt. So you can see the upper torso and the body. Face is really, really nice. I really like the face. It's a really fun one, too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you got the helmet over here. You got the two horns. Uh, you got the hair wraps, uh, here. You got earrings, a belt buckle, and the back of the hair. So... When I talked to the, my friend who actually uh, stopped by and dropped it off, he uh, mentioned to me that, you know, do my thing. You know, he's, he, he kind of wanted, it looks like, you know, the artwork as much as possible. But he mentioned that he wanted the horns to be magnetized only because of shipping and packing because he's actually moving out of state and he's going to be living in another one. So he figured, you know, by the time I'm done with this, I'll probably have to ship it to him. So he figured, you know, can you magnetize it? I said, not a problem. So you can see how it connects, you know, everything connects very well. It's very easy. So I can actually imagine this kit really at the point where you could set it all up on metal rods and stuff, paint all the pieces and just put them together. So it's a very good starter kit. It's a maybe, it may feel a little detailed because you got all these little different armor pieces and stuff. But it's definitely a starter kit in the sense where you don't have to do a lot of prep work, at least with this one so far. So... I think the only thing I really saw that was probably like a flashing issue was like there's a little bit of a line right here on her side. But literally just put some putty there and sand it and you're done. So that's an easy spot. Uh, other than that, I think my goal would be is I would uh, paint up the base separate. I'll probably put a, I'll probably drill a hole through here. I'll drill a hole through here. I'll have this set up on a rod so this way I can paint the body all separate. You know, it'll be on a rod. And then what I'll do is at the end, once it's done, I can have the hole a little bit bigger and the hole bigger. I can throw A's and uh, glue and actually let it sit and then literally put all the other pieces together. So that'll make my life a little bit easier. Uh, as far as I would say the hardest part of this kit will probably be these two hair wraps. Because uh, once you put the hair on the back of the head, like say you were to glue that on, this piece sort of... You know, you could sort of kind of glue that little piece in there and there, and that kind of will set. So that's going to have to probably be uh, glued in and uh, stay that way, but at least it's not like the horns coming out. This one right here will probably be the little trickier one, uh, only because it glues back there, and it kind of, it doesn't really have anything to kind of, as you can see, fit. So maybe what I would do is... I would probably try to, I'm probably going to try to add like a little bit of a metal rod here and a little bit of a hole here. So this way if I glue this in, I can put a little bit of A's and it kind of can connect into the back. So this whole piece will be locked in. So I'm thinking I'm going to go that route with this one. So I think that's probably the hardest part. This one right here, I think literally if you put a couple drops of glue here and then you put a little bit of a glue there and you kind of be very careful. You can literally just kind of glue this in at the end. 
And then maybe if I have to, I'll do a little seam work up here with some A's and then touch it up. So that's all I could see right about there. I think that's probably the hardest parts. Um, and the helmet's kind of cool because yeah, I can actually do like, you know, uh, I can have this uh, drilled a little hole here and I could do some like metal work on top, you know, some chrome or metal work type stuff there. Uh, kind of gold. And then uh, what I'll do is I will set up, there's definitely plenty of room in here where I can put magnets into these pieces. So this one, I guess this one goes here. This seems to seem to fit, and it, it has left and right. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely this one here. Just making, just trying to see about the key and stuff. Okay, so it definitely goes that way. Yeah, so you can see how the helmet would look. So that's not bad, you know. Just uh, I might, I should have some magnets. If I don't, I can always just order them when I get a chance, and literally just put a magnet in there, put a magnet in there, and run with it, and it'll be done. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Uh, as far as the hair and uh, goes here, you have these two little uh, earring pieces as well, and these little earring pieces kind of connect into here, like so. So those are going to be a little tricky. But literally, once you paint the hair and you get the earrings done, you can just glue it in and then literally just kind of put the hair on and you're done and you're good to go that route. And then uh, probably the very last thing to do would be uh, the belt buckle. belt buckle is right here and it goes on like so. So it's kind of a cool style belt buckle. It's a little bit uh, crazy looking, but there you go. So that is the Filmies Girls uh, Free of Bust. Uh, it's a really uh, good sculpt. Uh, I'll probably just start... Uh, prepping it up when I start priming up some other kits I can actually add this into rotation now and get this primed up uh, and just kind of have this on the side going so hopefully in a few months this will be done and we'll have a final video so check out Filmies Girls thanks for watching and we'll be back with some more videos